Okay, you need to forget about every chicken salad you've made up to date and try the one I'm about to post. The color, the aroma, it's fabulous. I've used curry leaves and alu bukhara. Uh, lots of other spices and for this recipe I need for you to stay tuned on If Night Kid Cook. I've taken a few pieces of chicken on bones and marinated it last night in one cup of yogurt. A little bit of red chili powder, salt, turmeric powder, a little bit of curry powder and I've added some crushed onions to be exact three fourths of a small cup. And then this morning, what I've done is I've added a little bit of tandoori masala to this. Um, I'm going to be making this with curry patta, alu bukhara, adrak lasan, and zira. So let me just show you what I do next. Okay, I'm ready to cook this. I've taken a walk like this. Could I take some curry leaves, take a teaspoon of zira, three for alu bukhara, three fat cloves of garlic that I've sliced thickly, and that's more than half an inch of ginger that I've sliced. I'm going to dry roast this. Dry roasting releases a lot of the aroma. I feel it adds an intensity. I'm just going to quickly dry roast it a little bit. I've added aloo bukhara um, earlier than I do normally because I'm in a hurry. I'm going to add oil to this. Okay, that's really starting to smell very good. Love the combination of curry leaves and uh, aloo bukhara with zira. Okay, I'm going to add some oil. Then I have three tomatoes there. I'm going to fry that. After adding the oil, I want you to turn the fire down so that the garlic and ginger doesn't burn. Okay, time to raise the fire and add three tomatoes halved. Time to add some water. It's going to help the tomatoes cook. Uh, as you know that I'm waiting for the tomatoes to soften a bit so it peels. And then I can remove the skin. That's on low fire. I have removed the skin and I've increased the fire. I'm just waiting for the oil to rise. When that's done, I'm going to add this beautiful chicken right in there. With uh, bunuing masala or sauteing masala, you have to have a lot of patience. It takes quite a while for the onions, tomatoes to kind of uh, release oil. So uh, my tip to you is do not cook on high fire. It has to be cooked on medium. I'm going to add the chicken pieces now. I'm going to mix this and cover and cook this on low heat. Okay, all right. Look at the color. I'm just going to check on this, but I believe it's done. Chicken cooks fast, especially if it's been marinated overnight. And the oil has also kind of risen to the surface. Next up, green chilies. Okay, green chilies and julienne. Ginger, my favorite. A little bit of coriander. Pakistani dishes are so incomplete without coriander. I'm going to cover and cook this for a very short time and serve it soon. And this is done. Turn off the fire and serve this with garam roti. Okay, I'm done and look at the fantastic color. It has turned out so amazing that I insist you make this very soon. I'm sure you'll have all the ingredients at home. Let me know what you think and whenever you make it, do send me pictures as well. Thank you for watching.